Arizona State wins the Territorial Cup in Tucson, 72 to 64. Welcome to the WCSN Post Game Show. I'm Eliov Goodbye, joined by Braden Bell. And Braden, it was a back and forth game the whole way until Remy Martin took over 27 points on the night. Why was he so good? He's only a sophomore, but he plays like a seasoned veteran, like a senior, if you will. And he's a U of A killer, certified U of A killer after what he did in Tempe between these two teams. And then what he did tonight, outstanding performance by Remy Martin again. And he really willed this team. I mean, no Tay Cherry tonight for ASU. Rob Edwards did not score tonight for the Sun Devils. He'd been red hot coming into tonight. It was Remy Martin picking up the slack, being the leader that this team needs, and, and really feeding off of the energy, the negative energy this crowd brought. It seems like Remy really, really feeds off of it. Well, winning in McHale Center is one thing, but to sweep U of A, it's very rare for ASU. The last time that happened was the James Harden-led team in the 08-09 season. So how were they able to do it, Braden? Well, Obviously, and I think U of A fans will use this as kind of an asterisk, that they've struggled. And, and there's no doubt about that. This isn't, you know, the U of A team that you expect to see year after year. But for Arizona State, it's still a huge win. No doubt about that. And I think this win, more than that one that happened in February in Tempe, this is one that this program will really hang on to and build off of because it is so rare to win here at the McHale Center. And this crowd was great today. The atmosphere was phenomenal. And it, it takes a lot to win on the road, period. You hear that all the time. But to win here on your rival's home floor, it's big. And it's something this program can build off of. And it was everyone doing big things. And, you know, even a guy like Elias Valtanen deserves a shout-out. He, he didn't score, but he played very well. Role players did their thing. Remy gets the headlines. But it was really everyone doing what they needed to do to get the win. Well, you mentioned building off of it. And yeah. that's what the theme should be for ASU right now. How can they win three games in three days going into Vegas at the Pac-12 tournament? I have no idea, but it could be fun. Who knows? Yeah, well, uh, first going. round, by exactly. We'll be there, and it should be a good time in Vegas. But the two seed locked in will play at 6 o'clock on Thursday. So good chance for Arizona State to do something they haven't done in a while is be successful in the Pac-12 tournament. And it should be a lot of fun. Arizona State feels confident about where they are in terms of the NCAA tournament after this win tonight. But you can never be too sure. And if you win a couple games, heck, if you win the whole thing, then you're in there automatically. So there's still a lot to play for for Arizona State, no doubt about that. And this is a season of firsts all around. A win at Pauley Pavilion hadn't happened in a while. A sweep over Arizona is huge, obviously, for this program. Now that next step, try to succeed in the Pac-12 tournament. They'll have a great chance to do that in a very good spot, the two seed in Vegas. Well, they've never done that, never won the Pac-12 tournament title. So we'll see if the Devils can do it in Vegas. But for now, in Tucson, for Braden Bell, I'm Elioff Goodbye, Cronkite Sports.